In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Yes, and sisters, you are most welcome to our Eucharistic celebration this morning. And in this morning, faith secondly, give thanks to the Almighty God for her little sister's life as she celebrates her birthday today that may Almighty God continue providing and protecting her. Today we celebrate the memorial of two saints, bishops, Gregory and Basri. And the word of God we shall hear the Pharisees uh, trying to understand who John is. They will send uh, people to ask who John is exactly. We too we may be staying with Jesus. He's born these days. We are celebrating Christmas. But we may lack full information of who is Jesus. So let us ask the grace of God that we may continue to search to know Jesus very clearly, who is amidst us. Before we do this, let us ask God's pardon and mercy for our sins. So let's prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries of the Eucharist. I confess to Almighty God, you. my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, we are pleased to give light to your church. By the example and teaching of Bishop Saints Basil and Gregory, grant, we pray, 
that in humility we may learn your truth and practice it faithfully in charity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the image of the Holy Spirit, one of God, forever and ever. First reading, the reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, who is the liar? But he who denies that Jesus, but he who denies that Jesus is the Christ, this is the Antichrist. He who denies the Father and the Son. Anyone who denies the Son does not have the Father. He who confesses the Son has the Father also. Let what you heard from the beginning abide in you. If what you heard from the beginning abides in you, then you will abide in the Son and in the Father. And this is what he has promised us, eternal life. I write this to you about those who would deceive you, but anointing which you received from him abides in you. And you have no need that anyone should teach you as his anointing teaches you about everything and is true and is no lie just as it has taught you abide in him and now little children abide in him so that when he appears we may have confidence and not shrink from him in shame at his coming. Word of the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. O sing a new song to the Lord. For he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his deliverance to the nations. He has remembered his merciful love and his truth for the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing out your praise. various ways, God spoke of old to our fathers by the prophets, but in these last days he has spoken to us by a son.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. This is a testimony of John. When the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are you? He confessed, he did not deny, but confessed, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, What then? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? And he answered, No. They said to him then, Who are you? Let us have an answer from those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? He said, I am not the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord as the prophet Isaiah did. Now they had been sent from the Pharisees. They asked him, Then why are you baptizing? If you are neither Christ, nor Elijah, nor the prophet. John answered, I baptize with water. But among you stands one whom you do not know, even he who comes after me, the thong of whose sandal I am not worthy to untie. This took place in Bethany beyond the Jordan, where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, today we have, I can say, two groups of people, and the, what is between them or in front of them is truth. We have heard John the Baptist giving what, what is true about himself. He has been asked by the Levites, and the, they want to know, because they have been sent by their fellow elders, the Jews, to understand who exactly John the Baptist is. Because remember the time when he came, many people flocked to him, and also which is surprising, because John was not using a very simple language, you know, of petting people, no, no, no. He was telling them the truth, and many people were being baptized. I mean, they were repenting their sins, and they were accepting the baptism of John. Because those people had discovered that John is telling them the truth, and they had accepted, even when it was coming in a hard way. And now, the other Jews, the elders, want to know exactly who is he? Because is he the Jesus Christ whom they have been waiting for all these years? John would have even told them that he's the one, come afraid and say, I'm the one, because the things he did, they almost resembled the ones of the Messiah. But he doesn't want this. He doesn't want to take a show of someone else but he speaks so exactly of what is true about himself. Why in the first reading instead, St. John is struggling. St. John, is, in his letter, he is struggling to explain to his audience about the, the truth about Jesus Christ, that Jesus Christ is a son of God. He calls God the Father. Because there had been a misunderstanding how can Jesus Christ, born of Mary, whom they know, from Nazareth, how can he be the Son of God? So John is trying to explain about uh, Jesus Christ to the people that indeed he is the Son of God. But they are denying, they are denying, they are denying the truth. We too, sometimes we are faced, there are some moments when we have to explain about ourselves or even explain something that we know to others. And uh, we may find even rejection, even people may deny. But the fact remains, we cannot stop telling the truth because either people don't accept the truth or we fear that they may not accept us. However, we have to look for also the way on how to put across our truth to other people, 
But either way, people should accept the truth. At the same time, there are those moments when it is now our turn to accept the truth from others. People tell us certain things we don't understand. And some of it uh, could be, could pertain our faith. Others may pertain our morals, our behavior. And uh, people may come to tell us something about us. Do we normally take the truth from others? Or we always defend ourselves because we want to have the last word in our conversations. Some of us can even argue and talk for one or two hours or three hours when something has been told about us because we want to defend ourselves and we think we are the right. So let us ask God in this mass to help us to be people who seek for the truth. And once the truth is revealed to us, that we may always be humble to accept it because that's where we shall get our salvation. My son, but my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. Um, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and the glory of his name. For our good and the good of all his judgment. Accept this sacrifice from your people, we pray, O Lord, and make what is offered for your glory in honor of Saints Basil and Gregory a means to eternal salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is your right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and ever to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the feast of this all-filled mystery, this invisible in his own divine nature, he has appeared visible in ours and begotten before all ages. He has begun to exist in time, so at raising up in him all that was cast down, he might restore unit of all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make all therefore these gifts we pray by sending down our spirit upon them at you for, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered the wing into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave to the disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, suppose ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which he poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your for death, O oh Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Dear Father, we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks to have heard us what to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that pardon the blood and the blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your charity spread throughout the world. And bring us the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and the and our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, we send Basri and Grigore, and Bakita, the Uganda Matas, and Daniel Kumbon, and all the saints who are pleased to throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the name of the Holy Spirit, all grand honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gracious and grand peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Thank you.
Behold the Lamb of God, body who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. May the blood and blood of Christ keep us safe and bring us to eternal life.
Let us pray. May you partake of the heavenly table, Almighty God. Increase strength from on high. May preserve with the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our mass is ended. Let us go to love and praise the Lord. Have a blessed day.